Welcome back to the Siri Poetry Library. I'm Dan Siri, your host. I'm here to read a new love poem I wrote for Carla. It's been one year together. I love you, baby. And I read her this poem a few nights ago. She loved it. And now I get to share with all of you guys in YouTube land. It's called You Found Me. Across time, across space, you found me. In every universe, dimension, we were meant to be. Weren't supposed to meet up that day. I had tables to wait. A chance firing freed me, so I texted, not realizing it was fate. Destiny was never my ally nor a trusted friend. Good moments were fleeting, destined to end. That night a kiss shone lightning in our eyes. We blazed a trail of infinite fire to the skies. Date two was a wedding. Again, I was meant to be elsewhere. No dancing. Food truck had a flat. We didn't care. Dined at Maria's diner, held your hand the whole time. Took you home, held you close, asked you to be mine. We got caught between the moon and Neptune City. A life of hurt and pain, now one of joy and serenity. I saw it all my life, traveling even in the still years. Gaining wisdom, I guess, but also heartbreak, fears. I think of our other selves across dimensional planes. Destiny led or will lead every us to no longer love in vain. For decades, I looked for someone, convinced them to see. I never needed to search the stars for love. You found me. Found me, Carla. <laughs> I was clueless. I had no idea. She seemed nice. She was always very nice to me. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I stopped believing in love, honestly. I had given up because of things that had happened over the years. And I wasn't bitter or angry or anything like that. I was just kind of retiring. I'm like, well, I searched for love for over 20 years, you know, in my teen years, in my 20s and 30s. And uh, I'm just, just going to retire. And then she came along and everything changed. That's the amazing thing about life and especially love is that it never works until it does. You could be searching for something for 20 years, 25 years, and then just one day it just sort of happens. And you, you know, you wake up some days and you're like, well, how did I get here? How did, this, <laughs> how did this happen? You know, because it's so completely different from the life you were living or the way that you thought. And uh, sometimes it just works out. So what my message I can give to everyone, especially the lonely people out there, is please don't give up. Please don't give, don't don't get yourself bent out of shape about being alone or being hurt or anything like that. Try and look at all the good things in your life. Try and look around you at your friends, your family, all the things, all the positives of life and Think on those things, on the good things most times. And uh, just always have hope. Always have hope. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't uh, go crazy searching or trying or fighting for love or, you know, just let it, let it happen. Because I believe it can. If it happens to us, it can happen to anyone. So please, everybody... Definitely don't give up on love and keep writing. <laughs> all of you, all of you can do this. All of you could sit down and write a poem or a story or a song. Do something creative. We live in a world now that's basically devoid of creativity. But I also believe that what's happening now is people are really starting to really get more into the creative things because they want more out of life. They don't want to just enjoy the arts. They want to create. So please keep creating because creation is an act of love. Creating a book or a song or a story, these are, these are definitely loving endeavors. You know, they are labors of love. Every time I write a poem or a review or work on the novel, it's a labor of love. And when it's finished, and it can finish quickly, or it could take years to work on some of these things. What I would just tell everybody is don't give up. Just keep creating, keep writing, okay? So we'll be back soon. Things have been a little hectic lately. Uh, I have two new jobs starting soon. Uh, more on that later. <laughs> 
but because of work and other things and other responsibilities that have been going on, I've been very busy and haven't been able to do many videos or reviews or poems or things. But there'll be more of them in the coming months. And um, just keep, uh, stay tuned to the channel and we'll talk to you soon, all right? Everybody, it's been a great summer and I'm very much looking forward to fall. I know most of you are too. It's my favorite season. So let's just finish out the summer and um, have some fun and then we'll be looking forward to fall. Talk to you soon.